<laughs> Sharon Soul's vivacious personality is complemented by the glamour and vibrancy of her dress. <laughs> she always wears multiple gold rings, necklaces, and bracelets. Her nails are professionally manicured and polished, and she sports a year-round tan. She never shies away from any controversy, especially if it involves whether Andy Warhol was born and reared in the Keysport. <laughs> always arguing passionately on the side of the affirmative. <laughs> she, you will find Sharon, who calls herself a downtown McKeesport girl, at the McKeesport Daily News Building, serving duly as the Tube City Center Operations Assistant and the Mon Valley Independent Newspaper's McKeesport Office Operation Manager during the week. She, she has a, jewel, a jewelry kiosk, Snooks, at the Lincoln Highway Hub, and she and her husband, Keith Souls, are half owners of the TKO restaurant on Walnut Street. She dedicates any spare time that she has to various local charities and nonprofit organizations. The McKeesport History and Heritage Center, where she is on the board of directors, the McKeesport Lions, Kiwanis, the McKeesport Trail Council, and others. She manages the Lions Club food concession during the summer concerts at Renzi Park and coordinates the gate coverage for International Village. Sharon participated in the 2014 GTEC Reclaim McKeesport Ambassador Program, taking on the project of beautifying the vacant lot adjacent to the McKees Point Palisades. She always has a lot of tickets to sell to raise funds for one of the organizations that she enthusiastically supports and never hesitates to jump in to help out with any worthy cause that will benefit the McKeesport community. Sharon was born in Morgantown, West Virginia while her family was traveling. She lived with her parents, Carmela, Nellie, and John Dobus in several homes within walking distance from then bustling downtown McKeesport until age six, when they moved to North for sales. She said her family lived all over downtown McKeesport during the first six years of her life. We lived on Water Street, Two Works Alley, and Vic Street before we moved to the country, she said. I loved it. There were so many kids around and we had so much fun. We could do anything we wanted to do. Sharon's Slovak grandmother, lived on Hazel Street near McKeesport Hospital, and she had a lot of family on nearby White Street, too. She and her family regularly attended St. Nicholas Church in McKeesport. Spending so much of her childhood in McKeesport gave her an everlasting love of the town. She, start, she started her formal education, attending first grade at Sunset School in North Versailles but spent most of her school years at St. Peter's Catholic School in the Keysport. She rode the city bus to school. She left St. Peter's in the 11th grade to finish at Westinghouse Memorial High School in Wilmerding. She said, my friends and I were tired of going to an all girls school. So we skipped school and got caught. <laughs> I could have stayed at St. Peter's, but I didn't want to. She said that she was disappointed because she really wanted to go to McKeesport High School. <laughs> Sharon said, we took the city bus all the time because we came downtown McKeesport to all the movie theaters and to shop. There were so many kids and that's what we did, but life was so different back then. Everything was so easy and people were so nice. And everybody was so friendly. I had the most wonderful parents in the world. Sharon and her friends, rode the bus into McKeesport to go to the four theaters and to shop at the many clothing stores. She especially remembered her wonderment at the Memorial Theater's grandeur with its magnificent architecture, marble floors and steps, statuary, and red velvet drapes, comparing it to a palace. Her love of the Mon Valley is deeply rooted in her upbringing. Sharon's commitment to improving her community came from her mother, Nellie who she refers to as a politician. 
She was a North for Sales Township Commissioner for years and held the position of Police Commissioner until a couple of years before she died at 89. Sharon's dad was given the nickname Scrappy after a cartoon character who, like him, had a lock of dark curly hair in the middle of his forehead. Oh boy. He became known as Fingers in later years because of his ability to put a spin on a baseball. He was, according to Sharon, an all-around athlete and a wonderful man. It was her mother's bodyguard. She'd have all these big political rallies and stuff, and Dad would be out there dancing with everybody. If you're in a wheelchair, he's out there spinning you around. He was the nicest guy in the world. Sharon, who had a scholarship to attend beauty school after graduation, jokingly refers to herself as a beauty school dropout. <laughs> She took off with a group of about 30 friends to spend the two summers after graduation working in Atlantic City. Instead, an early indication of her adventurous spirit. She attended community college in McKeesport and later enrolled at Penn State's Harrisburg campus, focusing on her love of photography. Sharon met her husband, Keith, when she uh, was the jewelry department manager at the Eastland Gimbal store, and he was her stock boy. Keith, who is a McKeesport real estate agent, business owner, and a three-term McKeesport city councilman, and Sharon had been married for 24 years and have known each other for 45 years. She worked at Gimbel's until the store closed in 1987. She was transferred by Marcus and Company to New York City for three months to assist in the closure of all of the Gimbel stores in, in the United States. She was then transferred to New Jersey where she continued to work for the company for almost a year. She learned the art of jewelry repair, a hobby she still enjoys while working in New York. Sharon said that she was always thrilled to return home to McKeesport from her travels. She developed an avid love of jewelry and fashion at a young age. She talks about going around to her Slovak grandmother's neighbor's homes as a child, asking if anyone had any jewelry they wanted to get rid of. And of course they did. Sharon demonstrates dedication, a strong work ethic, grit, and an unwavering commitment to her community every day through her good works and willingness to do whatever she can do to promote and improve McKeesport. She is a genuine Mon Valley person. And this is Sharon here. <laughs> I have her picture. Oh. <laughs>